entitled platform. Ladies, my colleagues from the ministry and other parastatans, ladies and gentlemen of Valley Grace, all other protocols duly and respectfully observed. Good afternoon. And may peace, mercy, and blessings be upon you. I am highly excited and also delighted to be here with you for the launching and unveiling of uh, three innovative solutions of uh, our dear Nigeria Postal Services. This event is very memorable, particularly some of the initiatives we are here to launch and unveil are new in the history of uh, the agency. The administration of uh, President Muhammad Buhari GCFR has three core areas of uh, priority. As we all know, these three core areas include economic development. If you look at these products we are here to unveil, they will go a long way in promoting and developing our economy in Nigeria. Furthermore, they will also help this government in delivering the second priority area that is improving transparency and fighting corruption. Whenever a process is digitalized, it will go a long way in promoting transparency and at the same time addressing the challenges of our corrupt practices. It is because of this I'm very excited and I'm glad that as I earlier said last year, that this year is uh, my first year along with these are my two babies, babies so far in 2022. In addition to other one or two babies that may come up, <laughs> I want to ensure that I dedicate a minimum of 70% of my official time. <laughs> These three projects that are going to be launched and commissioned today, firstly, NIPOST electronic debit card. As the presenter explained that it is the first of its kind in the country, because it works on and off line. This is indeed highly commendable. And it is the first time that NIPOST comes up with a solution similar to this. And it is indeed a multi-purpose card for financial transaction, conditional cash transfer, payment of our bills, and many more. This is indeed very commendable. And this is also in alignment with our digital economy for achieving a digital Nigeria. Our target in this country by 2030 is to be digitalized completely. And definitely we are now on track. A lot has been achieved and we have so many plans to deliver within this year with the support of the Almighty. And we want to ensure that by early 2023, you will recall that what we have achieved in 2022 is highly commendable, and we are optimistic it will also be unprecedented. <laughs> so these two solutions of a night post are in alignment with digital economy for a digital Nigeria. The second product, which is also the NIPOST banking platform, 
it will allow the customers of NIPOST to conduct financial transaction with most importantly UPU member countries in which there are many indeed. And it is another innovative solution that will make our banking system much, much easier. And this is also in alignment with our proposal to come up with NIPOST Microfinance Bank. So this is just like a pilot program of another subsidiary of NIPOST that will come up soon, that is the NIPOST Microfinance Bank, in which we want to leverage on the existing infrastructure of NIPOST and ensure that we update them and make sure that our citizens and legal residents all over the country, wherever they are, as long as they have access to the post office, they will be able to conduct their financial transactions. In all the local governments of Nigeria, NIPOS has an existing infrastructure. NIPOS has the highest number of infrastructure than any other institution, public institution in the country, agreeably. Agreeably. We want to live great on that. And we want to ensure that NIPOS is no more obsolete. It must be digitally oriented. We want to ensure that NIPOS is part and parcel of the fourth industrial revolution. And all these products we are discussing here, particularly number one and two, are in line with that. And we do hope that this is just the beginning not the end. The third to be commissioned today is the NIPOS SPEEDAF Logistics Vehicles. This is also very commendable. As the PMG earlier informed us that initially males comprised 90% of our nine post activities, while cargo or not more than 10%. But as it is today, the reverse is the case. 10% became the 90%, while 90% became the 10%. Email, WhatsApp, and other means of communications have uh, displaced later writing. It becomes difficult for you to sit down and write a letter. It is because of this we plan to ensure that NIPOST has been upgraded to open other opportunities within the digital economy sector. NIPOST will not continue to be obsolete and I believe that now we are in January 2022 we have stepped in with our right leg and it is because of this we have these products here to be commissioned today. This, <laughs> these trucks are 27 in number, and we do hope that many more will come up. These trucks will support NIPOST in mail delivery, cargo delivery, and many more, particularly in the area of e-commerce. E-commerce is part of our essential services today. It is because of this, these trucks will facilitate the delivery of our products, services, and many more as the case may arise. It is because of this I'm highly delighted, and on behalf of the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, President Muhammad Buhari, I want to use the opportunity to commend all the stakeholders who have in one way or the other supported us to be here today. Your effort is much appreciated, and we do hope that you will continue to give the support. The Federal Government of Nigeria is grateful and most appreciative to all of you, and I do hope that we will continue to work together to ensure that the transformation of NIPOS to the fourth industrial revolution becomes a reality. A journey of a 100 kilometer begins with a step. Now, we have done our first step, and we do hope that we will continue to move in that direction. And for the water management of NIPOST, as an adage says,
The reward of hard work is more work. Your hard work has been commended, but do anticipate many more works to come up. May the Almighty bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Thank you all for listening. The President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, President Muhammadu Buhari, based on the provision of uh, the Constitution of Nigeria, 1999 as amended section 147 and 148. I therefore commission, I therefore launch and unveil Nipost David Cut.